In this video, we're going to practice subtracting two fractions. All right, so just as a reminder, when we're working with fractions, our top number is our numerator, our bottom number is our denominator. So when we're working with addition and subtraction of fractions, the key is making sure that our denominators are the same. You cannot add or subtract a fraction if the denominators are not the same. So in this case, they are the same, so that makes our job a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to evaluate and then simplify our answer. So to subtract a fraction, we start. We just go across. So our numerator, 5 minus 4, would be 1. And then our denominators stay the same. So our answer would be 1 sixth. And we can't go any lower than that. So it is simplified to the most, to the most simple form. Okay, again, we're looking at our denominators first, and again, they are the same, so that makes our job easy. So we subtract across 4 minus 3 is 1, and 6, the denominator stays the same. So our answer is 1 6, and again, it is already in its simplest form. Okay, so starting here, we look again, our denominators are the same, so we could go ahead and subtract across. 3 minus 2 is 1. Our denominator stays the same. 1 sixth is our answer. Our denominators are the same, so we could go ahead and go across. 2 minus 1 is 1. And the 5, the denominator, stays the same. Okay, so this time let's work backwards. So we already know that our denominator is going to be 4 before we do anything. So I'm just going to put that here and put my slash sign here. And then we go ahead and subtract across. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so for this one, we subtract across. 3 minus 1 is 2. And our denominator stays the same, so it is 6. What? What did I do? Oh, you know what I did wrong there? I forgot to simplify it. So that's something to pay a lot of attention to actually. Um, so I put the answer as 2 sixths and you could have simplified that down to 1 third. All right, so this one, let's go across. 4 minus 1 is 3. Five, the 5 denominator stays the same and 3 fifths is as low as you can go. All right. So our denominator is the same. So when we're looking at our multiple choice right away, we know our denominator is going to be five because it stays the same. So we can automatically eliminate four sevenths and five sixths. So we know our answer is going to be two fifths or four fifths. Okay, so three minus one is two. So our answer would be two fifths. Okay, let's look at this. So we know our denominator is going to be six. Oh, well, that's not true because we're going to have to simplify. So scratch that. All right. So if we're simple, if we're going across, then it would be two six. But we have to simplify that more as you saw in the mistake I made in the last problem. So to simplify a fraction, you have to divide it by the, the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So you have to divide it by its greatest common factor. In this case, the greatest common factor of two and six is two. So you're gonna divide the numerator and the denominator by two, and your simplified answer will be one third. All right, so this one, our denominator is going to be six, so we could eliminate seven, four sevenths and four ninths. So two minus one is one, and our denominator is six, so our answer is one sixth. All right, let's get some harder ones. Look at that, see, we only got four out of five stars because we forgot to simplify. Always remember to simplify your fractions. All right, so, 3 sixths minus 1 sixth. So we're going to multiply across. 